All right, guys. In this one, I'm just gonna be talking about how Kung Lao as a cameo has such a terrible design. And in general, this system is shitty right now, as it is. Like, the cameo system is terrible, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go over why I hate this cameo, other than the fact that it's completely busted, and why I hate the cameo system right now as a whole, and how you could fix it. So, first of all, Kung Lao, we all, we all know what it does. A plus two load that you can hold. So, neutral is no longer an issue, just hold this, do whatever random bullshit you want that covers a, a large distance in the screen, like a shadow kick. Even though it's completely unsafe, you have Kung Lao, he covers your ass, so now you're safe, you're even plus. So, yeah, neutral is no longer an issue, he just plays neutral for you, regardless of the character you're using. This is plus two, a plus two low. So if I use something like a, an overhead, I have this overhead or something, I have this overhead. It's not a very good example with this guy, but I can just mix in lows or something. But mainly just this being plus two on block and like plus 20 on hit. How much is it on hit? Plus to 19, yeah. This being this plus on block and on hit makes it so you can lock them down for a long time. So basically, neutral is no longer an issue. And then I can lock you down for a while using my busted plus frames as Johnny Cage, who's the best character in the game. I can lock you down forever, pretty much. If you try poking me and I poke you back, I win because I have the fastest down one in the game. I have a six frame down one. So I lock you down forever. They saw this being an issue, and what did they do? They nerfed the cooldown by making it twice as long. That did nothing, because the cooldown was instant. Before this nerf, the cooldown was pretty much non-existent. It took like two seconds for this to return, so it was always available. It never ran out. Never. So they nerfed it by halving the cooldown time, pretty much. Not halving, doubling it, sorry. So now it's like four seconds for half a cameo gauge after a bustle. For the gauge to fully come back. It did nothing. Because this is such a fast cooldown still, and it locks you down for so long. It's still, it's still always available, like it, it doesn't change the fact that it has, it basically has no cooldown. You can always use this guy. And the cherry on top, on top of just make, him making neutral, not a thing in this game. And him just being so busted on block. Just uh, constant permanent plus frames, that are also a low, that is, can be tough to block. Just the cherry on top. Is the fact that you can hold this, so you can set up insanely broken stuff. Because this is a low, and there are, you can just use an overhead at the exact same moment. And make pretty much guaranteed reason. Sindel is a very good example. And you use Sindel. You finish your combo whatever with the basso. I can set up lows over as it basically to the exact same moment. And I've heard rumors that the game like has uh, unblockable protection. You can block mid and it will block both the low and the overhead. From my experience, it's not a thing in this game. The, ga the training dummy does it, but a, a human being can't in a real match. Like a low overhead like this, that hit at the exact same moment, you can't block it. It's just not possible to block it. Sonic Fox uh, puts in there like in top 3, I'm pretty sure. Just because of her busted setups with Kung Lao, like the low overhead bullshit. So yeah, on top of the busted, just making neutral not a factor anymore, and just being very busted on block, he also is the best setup tool in the game, even more than Jax as ground pound. When the ground pound is pretty much the only, the, o the only use it has is being a setup tool. So the Basso, that is already the best neutral and block black string tool in the game, is also the best setup tool. So three things. Three fundamental things in fighting games. He does the best. Of all cameos. Hell, of all characters. No character in the roster is, has such a big effect on neutral as Kung Lao has. Pretty much. You can set up this fucking head and run into their face. You don't even need to use anything with your character. Just run into their face. If they punch me in the face, fine. The basso is still here. It would hit them back. I trade with them. And if I actually land this... It's a full combo. And it barely scales. So... So we come to a conclusion. What doesn't this guy do? And the answer is nothing. He does everything you could want. The spin is also a very, very, very good combo tool. The basso itself can also be used as a combo tool. 
you can use the bus on Miti. Like, uh, let's say uh, Giras 4844, the low launcher that is unsafe on block, you can pre preemptively input the bus and it will just come out and just save your ass and give you plus frames so you can throw it out randomly as much as you want. So, it basically does everything. So yeah, that's the strengths of Kung Lao as a cameo. We all know how busted this guy is. I'm pretty sure we all know it by now. He's the best cameo in the game, it's obvious. What's my issue with him? Aside from him just being completely broken. My issue is the other cameos are not good enough to have a cameo this powerful in the game. This is my issue. Cyrax. The issue with Cyrax was actually not even the... The, the fault was not Cyrax. Cyrax was not the issue, actually. The issue with Cyrax was this game me mechanically, universally having fault. Like, the fact that you can cancel pokes into special moves on block. This is the reason why a poke pretty much won you the game when you had Cyrax before the nerf. Like, you, with Raiden you go into the electromagnetic storm, and then you summon Cyrax before the nerf, and you just loop it, and you do 35% chip damage. And that's the second flaw. Pokes being special cancelable in the first one. The biggest one, ca characters do way too, fuck, way too much chip damage in this game. Like, special moves, certain specials do like 8% chip by themselves. And with Cyrax cameo, you could lock them down for long enough to loop it. So Cyrax was incredibly good on block and on hit. Of course, he was. But, what's the difference here? Cyrax is only this busted when Cyrax was used with a certain character. Actually, no, he wasn't. Just uh, the issue with this, pretty, pretty much, Cyrax's issue is a universal mechanical flaw, pretty much. Chip damage is an issue this game has in general. Char characters did, at the very least, before Cyrax got nerfed, characters themselves did too much fucking chip damage, considering the amount of time you can lock them down. And also, pokes are special cancelable on block, when they shouldn't be. Because you can special cancel a poke on block, and then you get your turn back for mashing a poke. And poke mashing is already ridiculously strong because pokes will low profile pretty much anything. Even if you don't have the frame that are needed for, do for doing that. <laughs> because pokes are just stupid in the way they behave. So... Yeah. Cyrax was more, more of universal flaws that led to him being completely busted. Kung Lao is busted because Kung Lao is busted. This is just how it is. The cameo in, in himself is completely broken. It's not a universal mechanics thing. The cameo himself is just very, very good. By himself. And the problem is, other cameos in this roster, even before Cyrax got nerfed, are not good enough to have a cameo like this in the game. Kung Lao is a cameo that does basically everything. Pretty much. He does everything, and he does it very well. Like, he does three things. Setups, neutral, and block pressure. He does the best in the game by far, completely broken. Even by standard of, like, past MK games, like MK9, MKX, who are notorious for being busted. Even in the standard of these games, what Kung Lao brings to the table in these three things is considered very, very powerful. So in a game like this that is very tuned down, like uh, they've tried to balance it a lot, just like they did MK11. It's not as strict here, but they've tried doing it. So, and they succeeded in tuning the game down a lot. So a cameo like this that would be very powerful in MK9 and MKX is just out of his... He's uh, in the wrong era, he's in the wrong timeline. It doesn't fit in this one. It, it's just that simple. He's way too much for this game, as it is right now. They've been nerfing and tuning down cameos since the game released. You have so many moves that are summons, you have so many moves that scale a lot, so many moves that are shitty cooldowns. So, and then this guy comes with one move that does everything and has pretty much an instantaneous cooldown, even now. So he doesn't fit in this game, they tuned down all cameos except for him, they forgot him. He is still completely broken, what he brings to the table, he is not tuned down at all. Even by standards of past 10k games, he's completely broken still. Having guaranteed, pretty much guaranteed unblockable setups at any time in the game when using Sindel with this guy, pretty much it's either you armor wake up or you die. And armor wake ups, they're pretty much. It's a guaranteed 50 50, pretty much. Basically. You can call it like this. It's basically a guaranteed 50 50. And so you can probably even set it up so they, don't, they can't even armor, like after the scream or something. So. What do you get? You get. You get, a, you get pretty much unblockable resets almost, basically. So this is something you would see in the standards of a game like MK9 where you had Cyrax with his bomb reset, Cabal and his block infinites, I don't know, MKX and CDK and doing a, an infinite amount of damage in 5 hits and then doing AoE damage over time and continuing to chip you down in 1 hit. 
and also having unreactable 50-50s. This is something that would fit in a game like MKX. Something like Kung Lao Cameo doesn't fit in a game like this. A cameo that completely dominates the game as a result, too. Like, he is so good, he's so much better than the rest of the game, he dominates it completely. And this is why you don't see any other cameo, so that's my issue with Kung Lao. Really, he is so, he's so fucking good, and the rest of the cameos are so fucking shit. That's my issue. So yeah, how, do, how would I fix him? Kung Lao cameo, actually fixing him isn't that much of an issue, really. Like, uh, you can't make him... Uh, without destroying him completely, there's no way to actually make this guy bad. He will still stay completely busted because of this. Just this being an option. Just negating neutral, completely. You can make this shit an overhead, an unblockable, a grab, whatever you make it. It will still be busted. If it's still plus on block, it will still be insanely good. So I would change this. First of all, I would make this a mid. So the ridiculous setups are no longer an option. Because this move is already busted in neutral and busted on block. Busted setups are too much. For one move, three busted mechanics. It's just, it's way too much for one cameo move. With such a good cooldown as well. So I would make this a mid. That's the first thing. Second thing I would do. Make this zero instead of plus two. This being plus when paired up with Johnny, who already has a six frame down one, makes it so it's borderline fucking impossible to play the game against these two together. Like, I can do this, and I can do this nine frame mid of mine, and I will trade with a poke. <laughs> I will trade with a fucking poke, because this thing is plus two. It's plus two on block. I will trade with your pokes if you do it. Unless you're Johnny Cage, because pokes are seven frames on startup, and this mid is nine frames, and this is plus two. So pretty much this mid becomes basically 7 frames. So you can poke me, and the poke is 7 frames, and the mid will just trade with you. So I can pretty much lock you down forever because this is plus. So at the very least make it plus 1. Plus 2 is too much just because Johnny has a 9 frame mid. Unless they're gonna nerf Johnny, at the very least just make this plus 1. I would much rather it being like 0 or even minus 1, something like that. It doesn't have pushback, so I wouldn't make it as like, like minus 6 or something. I would make this minus 1 at max. I feel like zero is the best way to go around it. So make it a mid and make it zero on block. That would be enough in my opinion. I've heard some people like I heard Zombat who's a very good pro player, fantastic player. He said like hey, nerf the cooldown. I understood. Nerf the cooldown would be the best way to fix this guy. I don't feel like that would fix the issues. Honestly, I feel like it would just make this guy needlessly needlessly bad. Pretty much how they made Cyrax by making the the ground source take a full cameo gauge instead of fixing the issues he had. Nerfing the cooldown is the worst thing they can do for cameos in this game, pretty much, man. Like, a cooldown being terrible is terrible for the cameo. This move, as busted as it is, if it had like a 10 second cooldown for half a gauge, it would be terrible. The fact that you can always use this makes this cameo so powerful, so I don't feel like you should touch the cooldown. As it is right now, it's fine. I feel like it's okay as it is right now. Keep it as it is, I don't mind it. But make this zero on block the basso and make it a mid. That's the best way to go around it, in my opinion. Now, as for the cameo system as a whole, I would go around fixing the cameo system. Because the issue with this guy is mainly driven from the cameo system being shit. So, first of all, hopes are for Tremor to be completely broken. What I want them to do with the cameo system is pretty much make cameos do one thing extremely well, like exceptionally well, busted beyond belief in one aspect of the game. So, one cameo being a combo monster that brings you ridiculous, unparalleled combos. Basically, you use the cameo, and nobody else gives you combos that even come close to what he can give you. So, a combo monster. A complete combo monster. Let's say a neutral monster, like, I don't know, something like an ambush version of Serena's Blades. Something of that kind. But no utility on block. No, uh, no utility on, uh, on hit, sorry. Nothing on hit, or something like that. So, make them busted in one aspect, or in multiple aspects, like, make them very good in all aspects, or make them completely broken in one. And make them at the very at the very best decent to mid in the other aspects. If they're busted completely broken in one aspect, make them like mid in everything else. So what do you have? Then you have a much more healthy environment. So a character like Johnny Cage would be using someone like Kung Lao, who's completely broken in neutral, to make up for his weakness against projectiles and zoning. A character like uh, I don't know. Uh, let's say a character like uh, Omni Man. Omni-Man's biggest issue uh, I've, I've found myself encountering is just him having zero special moves that are actually p safe on block. Not even plus, just safe. Everything is punishable. So, if we had an ambush cameo that activates pretty much instantly and was like plus 100 on block, then we would be talking. Then we would be talking about something much better. Like, 
I'm imagining just a, basically a faster version of Star Striker's Bombs that does 1% damage on hit and doesn't start combos. This is what I imagine. It's just insanely good on block, but does nothing for you on hit. This is what I imagine. And the cameo will have a different tool completely for decent combo viability or something. So make a cameo completely busted in one aspect and make them mid in the rest. That's the best way to balance this system. Make everybody completely busted in one regard. That way the cameos actually have usage, man. Right now they've made one cameo so good in pretty much everything. There's no incentive to pick anyone else. That's why you only see Kung Lao. No other cameo compares to this guy in what he's doing. Like, in all... He pretty much does everything, and he does everything the best. So they need, really need to start tuning up the cameos. Just make them better. So Tremor, my biggest hope for, uh, for Tremor because he has the Crystallian armor. The Crystallian armor, sorry. This is exactly what we need, a unique utility tool, individual to the Tremor cameo, that will be, will be completely busted. So the only way they will have to actually balance it out is buff up the rest. At least that's what I hope, I hope they just don't make it terrible. If it's not already terrible, I don't know, we need to see how good the armor is from the get-go. But if it's completely broken, pretty much like MKX Tremor armor, if it's like this, then... Uh, yeah, I want it to be completely broken, man. I really do. I want it to be busted, and I want Tremor to not be that good in everything else. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be. I feel like the armor is going to be busted, and it's gonna be decent at everything else at best. Because it's gonna need the full cameo gauge to have ambush cameos. At all. So, that's the best way to balance these cameos. Make them busted in one regard, and make them decent in the rest. So yeah, that's my hopes for the cameo system. If that was the case, I would have like a combo monster, a neutral monster, a block pressure monster, a setup monster, a unique to utility monster, a unique utility monster, unique utility, unique utility, a lot of this stuff. If this was the case for the cameo system, we would have at the very least like five extremely viable cameos, just one for each of the universal mechanics you need. Like a combo monster would be very viable. And combo monster, I'm not, I don't mean Scorpion cameo, I mean, I mean something much more significant. I mean an ambush version of Cyrax's net that you can loop multiple times in one combo and, have, and has very fast cooldown. That's what I mean. I mean a very, 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 very powerful combo tool. Not something like Scorpion's Fire Breath, which is good, but not nothing too game-breaking. If we had that, and we had like a, a block monster, and we had a setup monster, we had a, a neutral monster, and we had, like, I don't know, a keep-away monster, a zoning monster. These are already five cameos that would be, we would see a lot of play. Like, you would use the zoning monster, I don't know, with someone like Reiko or Liu Kang to try and make your character a zoner. Like, uh, play into their strengths. So then you would have at the very least five cameos who are usable, who are very good. And then keep it on top of that, add cameos with unique utility. Stuff only they have, like Tremor with his armor. That's the sixth viable cameo if the armor is completely busted. That's the sixth cameo that would be very good. Had a, a cameo that is very good on the defense. Like, I don't know, a cameo that has a, a, an ambush parry, an ambush parry move. Like, you can block and call him while you're, while you're blocking or something, and he will parry your opponent and send them full screen or something. Something like that. So, there is a way to make many, many cameos in this game viable, and that is by just making everybody good. And that is something you don't seem to understand. They make everybody mid. That's the issue of the system. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with what I said in this video. I really do have high hopes for the system, and they can fix it. It's really possible to fix this system. It's not that hard to do. It really is not. Of course, I can talk as someone who only plays the game. Coding stuff, I don't know, designing it, just coming up with ideas. I know, it could be difficult, but they can pull it off, man. They really can. They can pull it off. I don't know, something like Johnny's height meter or Santo stance. It's much harder to come up with than actually five good cameos that are actually usable in high level in this game. Instead of having only one that is good. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if I rambled on for too long. It's like my third take, but I just... I can't really seem to make it shorter, just I want to cover everything I want to talk about here. So I feel like I did a pretty good job conveying that message. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section if you agree with me or disagree. I'd love to hear why. If you agree with me, why? And if you disagree, why? I'd love to hear what you would do for the cameos, like the weaker ones to buff them, the worse ones to nerf them. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking it. it I really appreciate it. The channel has been hitting a plateau recently. Uh, We've been stopping the growth, unfortunately, but we're going to bounce back, I'm sure of that. So, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you want to see some top-tier MK1 content. I guarantee you that. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.